know, whether you're a boxer or a mixed martial artist, you want to compete in Madison Square Garden, the world's most famous arena, and dating to 2016, a lot of the UFC's best have gotten that opportunity. Absolutely, J.A., and when you grow up as a fighter, especially a heavyweight, it is your dream to headline MSG and fight for the heavyweight championship of the world. I got that honor, and I can almost feel the ghost of Muhammad Ali, Joe Frazier, all those great fights those guys had at MSG. I felt as if on that night that I retained my championship, I became... Quick level change now. He went single into a high crotch. Oh, he's taking his dude for a ride. Oh, oh my God, he switched the lock to a high crotch, rotated him and took him for a ride. That was a big takedown. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now, the ground and pound starts. Fighter trying to pass here, ooh, but gets denied. Gets denied, great job, great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, that'll ring the bell. Head kick. Just out of range with the big right hand. Stevens gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. So just over 20 total strikes. Had now found the target for Jeremy Stevens. Checks the leg kick. Right hand punch to the clean. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Nice stick with the right hand. Under two minutes to go in the round. Oh, wicked nice leg kick there, DC. Can't take too many of those. Straight punch lands. Beautiful body kick. Well, the leg kicks have been a big storyline in this one, and there's another one. So he continues to slow his opponent down. And Nice poker face on the other side. I'm not sure how many more he can take. He won't be able to take many more. Think about Edson Barboza. All right, so now we are on the ground. Now he is in his wheelhouse. We'll see if he can get one of the submissions to pop here. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here for Bach. Tags him with the left hand. Oh, right in the mouth. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. Oh, collar tie. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Oh, and a nice jab by him there, and that's going to give his opponent some problems if that keeps landing. He's having a tough time getting his offense going because that jab is just stopping him every time. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. All right, so there's the end of the round. A lot of high-level action, and if you like the takedown game, as my boy Daniel Cormier does, you enjoyed that round. It's like we're watching the NCAA wrestling tournament. It's takedown after takedown. He's fighting his fight. He's able to change levels, drive into his opponent. It's All right, next round is underway here. The big storyline in our previous round, takedown defense, right? It seemed like there were some good shots in there, and yet he wasn't able to get him down. I mean, it's his hips. He's got such heavy hips, yeah. and he's bringing the hips into you when you shoot on him, and then he's moving your head to the inside. He's wizarding you. He's bringing his foot back to the mat. He has an understanding of wrestling defense that is now she's the triangle. And this could be trouble here. Looks like it's pretty tight. He's trying to work his head out of harm's way. It, it might be over. Oh, nice job, Houston. He's out. Now it's his mount. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know no when, when to fold him. Yep, absolutely. Go. Lands with the ground and pound here. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here, and he understands being a veteran of so many fights that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. I mean, how many can he take? Ground and pound strike is true. 
All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position up the bottom. Back to the feet now. So we call on the fight stats here. 56 total strikes have landed for Josh Emmett. And still on the right side of 50%, the land rate 51% here against Jeremy Stevens. Oh, that was a big takedown. Is this the one that's going to break him? Oh, trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style, Block. he gets denied. Block! Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Oh! Stuffs the takedown. A little bit. News hurts. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, my goodness. Takedown defense holds up. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. Visibly limping here. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. All right, round three coming up next. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action Ready? continues at a high Ready? level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. When you're in the clinch, you can pull down. Oh, and the ankle hip to get him down. We'll see if he can capitalize. Got the ankle kick. Let's see. There as he lands, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Stuff the takedown, no problem. That knee. Oh, big knee. He hurt him. Oh. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. Nice punch there. Just missed with the left there. Oh, a nice knee. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Under three minutes now to go in round three. Let's go. Let's here. Gets right back up. I mean, what an ankle pick. If he would have drove into his baby, he would have secured the top of this. Well, oh, it's not due to a lack of effort. He continues. This is like double A striking. This is not high level. Yeah, you can't be missing. It takes so much energy to just throw a strike. But to be oh, strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Body attack, and it's blocked. Wild attempt with the right hand there. The cardio you must have in order to secure this mini takedown. Gets up again here, but hurting. Oh, and he caught the kick. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not. Oh, sir. Turn away. Back. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize him. He was sitting high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got him pressing. He's got to change that finish down now. Wow! Oh, 
highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. We go back inside the octagon for the official decision. It resides with Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve LeVing has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 49 seconds of round number three. Playing the winner by knockout, Jeremy Milhidas Well, there will be no shutting that smile off tonight. The celebration is on as he gets a huge win by knockout tonight. I gotta think there are a few better feelings in the world than walking into an octagon and Candidly knocking another man out cold. Yeah, you shut a person's lights off, man. There's nothing like it. Now, I understand a lot of times we hope for the knockout, but he was never hopeful. He was sure that he would get it done, and he did exactly that. Congrats.